charge after a 58 minute standoff with police yesterday. We find Henry Premont here today, and the state says he's very focused on his ex girlfriend, an accused and jailed killer. The man involved in a gas station standoff who wanted officers to shoot him, according to the state, is a recent boyfriend of murder suspect Jody Herring. Jody lived with Mr. Premont. She was living with him out in uh, Williamstown. Um, and I think that might be kind of why he's kind of tied in with the situation a little bit. In court, the man pled not guilty to reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct charges following the incident at the South Barry Shell. During the standoff, police say Premont mentioned Herring's name and told troopers to blast him. Mr. Premont refused repeated orders to drop his weapon, and after he had placed the weapon on a hood of a car, he refused to move away from the weapon. He made statements that officers on the scene reasonably understood to demonstrate his intent to be shot by police. People who live in Premont's apartment building say the last time they saw him with Herring was last Tuesday. State's attorney Williams, although not prosecuting her case, says the two incidents are related. He had this to say to the people of Barrie. I think we've reached the point where the drama is going to stop. The understanding is Premont will be back at Central Vermont Hospital tonight. His mental health is being evaluated. He was also ordered by the court today to turn over all of his firearms. Live in Barrie tonight, Hannah McDonald, WPTZ News Channel 5.